Welcome back to the show. And yes, 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 Kidwa is here in the building. Welcome to the show, Kidwaya. Thank you so much. Thanks for having well, me. You can't remember this was not the first time you came on the show, but you have apologized for walking off the set on the show about three years ago. So I believe this is a new Kidwaya, I'm sure. This is the same kid. But I won't walk off again, don't worry. Please, well, good vibes, off. love and light. So you know, well, you know it will definitely trend if you walk off the set. No, I won't walk off a set. This is love and light. Love oh, and light. you're I, so I, in the love and light phase right now. This is the love and light. No, phase. it's still my war. It's still my war domination, divide and conquer phase. Okay. But between me and you, so much love and light. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. So let's 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 talk about your expectation going to Big Brother House because when people saw you, I'm sure a lot of your fans are wondering why is Big Brother kid were going to the house. So when you yeah. enter the house, you know. You even told uh, what's her name, Cece, that you were going to give her 120 million. You know, that means that you have the money, so you didn't really need to go to Big Brother. But what was the experience matching up into going into Big Brother House? I mean, look, this is, first of all, I always say this is the biggest platform in Africa. Mm -hmm. Not just the, not just Nigeria, in Africa. So when Biggie calls, I am loyal and I will come. Um, and the experience was amazing. You know, there's some people who I haven't met before mm -hmm. who um, I enjoy spending time with. You know, this is the all-star season, so this is the best of the best, mm -hmm. right? And you're competing for the ultimate prize, which is t to be number one at the end. So I had nothing but you know positive um, energy and vibes from the house. Even that time, it was up and down. Um, but that's just the nature of the game. And and I don't regret going back to the house. Um, I think there, there, there's no better or bigger thing to go back to than this. Mm -hmm. If there's any reason for me to come back to Nigeria after all these years, it's because of that. Okay, yeah. so let's look at some of the alliances you formed. There was like a bromance in the house. And I'm sure there are people that you kind of bonded with and the girls that you sort of maybe had one or two things with. <laughs> so just tell us about the time in the house and how they kind of influenced your strategy. So my time in the house was interesting and fun at most times. Um, very, very stressful, mm. um, mentally draining. Um, yeah. And you kind of have to just adapt as you go along. You can't trust anybody in that house. You cannot trust anybody. And I learned the hard way through my part of me campaigning, mm -hmm. um, where I thought that I had enough votes to win the part of me. And then, end of the day, no one voted for me apart from Cross. Shout out to Cross. Um, so I think and in the house, you kind of adapt and learn as you go along, mm -hmm. which is what you need to do. Um, but in the house, trust me, you are by yourself. No one, you no like one has your back. And you had some sort of relationships with people and you could feed off maybe the energy to sort yeah. of kind of protect you. I, I had I had a great relationships with um with 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 a lot of people there, you know, Cross, Harry, Cece, Tolani, mm. um, and a lot of other people. And I feel you need that in the house. You need to have those comfort um, zones people. to go to. Because trust me, the house is actually mad. Like mm. you need to be able to release from somewhere and that's through your friendships or your mm. groups or people that you have who have your back, so, yeah. Okay, so let's, let's talk about strategy. What was your strategy coming to the house? Did you say you had some sort of strategy, or was it just a, a dive through for you? Let me just, were you playing a game in the house, or what was it for you? I was 100% playing the game. Mm -hmm. Like, this is, in fact, I, I was so purposeful about it, even in my diary sessions, if, if, if you guys watched it, I kept mm -hmm. saying I'm playing a game, I'm playing a game, and I kept telling my strategy or my tactics of, of, of what I'm going to do next. Even I told the contestants I'm playing the game. You know, Vanessa used to call me the friendly villain because mm. I was so open and honest about what I'm planning to do. Mm. Um, and my whole strategy was divide and conquer because mm. going into the, to the season, peppered them, which is Ford, Vanessa, Ike, uh, Mercy, and uh, one other person, I forgot who that is, Shay. Mm. Yeah. They had the overall majority of people. Mm -hmm. They had one fifth of the house. So I thought my strategy was divide and conquer. Mm. Divide them so that they become weaker. I finally did got that, Ike. Did that work out? It did, I got Ike out. Mm. Ike was, was kind of like now part of everyone else. I was working on Messi. Um, before. <laughs> <Is that> Messi <laughs> at some point. <laughs> I was working on Messi at some point. And then, you know, you guys brought me out and yeah. I didn't get to fulfill my goal. But mm, um, that was yeah. quite shocking for a lot of people. It was quite shocking for me too because we didn't yeah. think we were going to come at that time you came out. But the confidence part, what was it like for you? And um, did that kind of affect the need to strategize and kind of form alliances with people? The confidence part? You were very confident in the house. It was yeah. almost like as if, yes, as much as you had a game plan, you could still divide and conquer, like you said. So, what was it like being confident and also trying to form alliances? So that was part of the plan, to show people oh. that I'm strong, I'm confident, and, and to put fear into them, to second guess their own decisions, mm. you know. Um, and e eventually, um, some weeks in, the plan was to then show that I'm kind of weak, I'm tired, I'm fed mm. up. I said, I mentioned it in my diary sessions, but mm -hmm. I had so many, everything you saw on that show was 
was me playing the game and a different kid wire from what you guys are usually used to. That was, mm -hmm. you know, because I say this all the time, there's one thing that stands out in the Big Brother rule book that Biggie says, there is no embargo on conspiracy, mm -hmm. which means you can go conspire, do what you have to do to try and win. Once I saw that, and I, we only saw this during lockdown, we didn't see it before, so we didn't have mm -hmm. much time to plan. Mm -hmm. We had like three days before we went onto the show where we saw the rule book. When I saw that, everything I was planning to do before you changed. Even change and I said, well. okay, now it's a game. I went there to play the game. Mm -hmm. And I don't think Nigerians are ready for, I, I, I said this before, Big Brother is far ahead of its viewership. Mm -hmm. Far ahead, mm -hmm. because the game. Nigerians watch the show and they judge you on what you do on the show. You're supposed to judge me for the strategy I deploy, for my gameplay. So, so did you think people judged you? Did you, were you? did you feel judged when you came out of the house? Yeah, of course. Some people, uh, a lot liked my game. Some are just saying, oh, um, this is a different kid. Why I'm not used to this one. I prefer him from lockdown mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're watching me as, as an individual and not as someone who's there to play a game. Mm. Yeah, and that's, what, that's what the show is for. Okay, okay. okay. Let's talk about the cha uh, challenge and the task. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there were quite a lot of tasks and challenges and uh, which was your most memorable and why? Because there's so many, I'm sure that at some point you're probably exhausted by the games and the, also the parties. And which was your favorite of all the games? Which was the well, most tasking mentally? So we'll start with my most fun, which was um, Thursday night mm. um, pool, party. pool party. I was on the grill, you know, I love grilling, love cooking for people. Um, and then the pool was fun as well. So that was my most fun time. The most challenging or slash annoying one was the Aquafina Paddy of Life. Only because Why was it? Because I mean, everyone was speaking from the heart. It was no no no. Not even like. not even the task itself. The fact okay. that like me and Ikea were, 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 were over six foot. <laughs> joined at the hill. Yeah, six foot guys joined out, joined in one yeah. outfit. It's kind of. A, a, it's tasking, but the task itself was good. I think mm -hmm. that week we needed mm -hmm. love and light, 100%. Mm -hmm. So Aquafina came through with the whole Paddy stuff, which mm -hmm. helped de-escalate some mm -hmm. tensions. Mm -hmm. um, but I think for me, my favorite was, was the Money Point one where I talked mm -hmm. about my company. Um, okay. I don't know if you remember that way, but it's where we basically, Biggie gave us um, some time to come up with a business plan mm -hmm. um, of a company that, mm -hmm. that can work. And mm -hmm. I, I enjoyed that one because I spoke about my company, so yeah. Okay, so I know that Big Brother kind of brings out a lot of emotions. Uh, what were some of the highs and lows for you? Let's start with the lows first. Lowest. Lowest. The lowest for me was just um, when I realized that, okay, like everyone here is for themselves and it's not a place where there's going to be love and light, as we say. Mm. It's, you really are in the game. Mm -hmm. So for, for mm -hmm. 10 weeks straight, don't trust this person next to you. Not in mm. a bad way. You can trust them outside the house. Mm. I'm talking about in the game. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's... So I had times where I thought, okay, be careful what you say to this person, be careful what you say to that person. Mm. Everyone's playing the game, can't trust people. So you really feel like a lone soldier, mm. a lone wolf, as they call it, in that house. Mm. As opposed to my season where you can literally build friendships, genuine friendships in the house, mm -hmm. based on the fact that everyone is new there and we all want to, mm. you know, have a good time. And then... Um, what was the other one? What should say? Just asking the highest. That was the lowest, the highest. 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 Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the highest is when I won HFH. When I won Head of House, that was a... That's, okay, me and Neo went head to head mm. on the challenge. And the whole challenge was like by balancing on a long seesaw board with mm. like mm. pulling some balls. Mm. So the fact that I won that, because based on my size, Neo is very, you know, Neo, Neo, Neo's got a fit body. Yeah. He's very balanced. So the fact that I won that, was just amazing and I created mm. a lot of content during the HFH. I was when I even started the whole come to the balcony and like address mm. your people. Mm. So the HFH week was mm. the best. Okay, so I'm going to just divert a bit to when you came on the show three years ago. I think it was two and you walked out on stage. So I'm still going to mention that. Why did you walk out of stage? I'm joking. I thought I was, I think you did. Yes, yes. That's it. No, no, no. Why? No, no, no. Why? why did you do that? I don't actually, honestly. You don't remember. I don't remember. I do not remember. I promise you. Well, did it you wasn't. Me? It was recorded. I think probably, I don't even know if you were in a bad mood or something. And Can you we run the back? I wish you could. It would have been nice to see it. I don't think we recorded it. I don't actually remember walking off stage. But was it recorded? I, it was? I'm, I, I was there and I was sending me interviewing you and you walked off 
Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, three years ago. And then I was wondering why you walked up the set, and then you me, came I'm wondering back. as well. I'm, I'm, my you wonder, you wonder, the same wonderings. <laughs> <laughs> but it happened in real life, you know. But I, I'm glad you kind of admitted that you what, what you did then was wrong. Anyways, that this is the love and light phase of of, of Kid Wire. But anyways, let's just go back to business. Um, let's look at the the romance that kind of went down. You said it was part of the strategy with Mercy because Mercy later denied and said nothing happened. So what happened there? Because you were surprised when she said nothing happened when um, Abuka was asking. What happened, me and Mercy? <laughs> What happened, kid? What happened, me, Mercy? I saw it. What did you see? I saw the kiss. Oh, you saw a kiss? I saw the kiss show me in the that video. corner. Show me the video. I know, I'm not going to show it because I don't have it here. I, listen, the, 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 I'm here, Mercy, kid, Mercy. I don't know what happened, though. But <laughs> near Mercy, I just very, that's my G. You know, we're naturally playful, naturally playful. Okay, so I think that's part of the game and strategy to kind of just hold it down, right? Everything you do in a house is part of a uh, bigger... Thank God for cameras. We cannot deny the things that we see on cameras. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, that was just maybe something for, for, for the gram to, to trend on there. But what is the future like? Or let's go to the eviction when you were evicted. I'm sure you were shocked. What was, what was in your mind when you were evicted? I was we were shocked here. As in, we didn't even think it was going to be you. Because, I mean, you still had a lot to offer. In that I house. was extremely relieved. Because um, then, I, I, like... If you, if you watch the back of my demeanor, mm -hmm. I kind of wanted um, to go. And I've been saying it mm. during that week that ah, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. Like, I miss home, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to go. So for me, I was very relieved when they called my name. That's kind of why I try to come off quickly and just get on with yeah. it. Um, but, you know, of course, when you, when, you, when you go around places and you watch these things back and you see people in the garden or the mm. kitchen arena, you kind of have flashbacks of you being there. Um, yeah, right. But... Again, I've always, you know, I wish everyone luck, um, and my memories of the show are nothing but positive. Mm -hmm. You know, when you come out, you see things completely differently. Mm -hmm. um, but I had a great experience. Mm -hmm. um, yes. I'm grateful. All, all around love and all, all around, around fun. Love, yeah. so that's what I see from you. Yeah. But anyways, who are you rooting for in terms of winning? Who do you think? Who's your eyes on? We've had like we have four extra housemates now. You know, so yes. who's, who's your eye on to win this prize? Well, those extra housemates, I think they're coming out soon anyway, a mm. couple of weeks or so. I know, but um, who's, who's your eye on? Who do you think is, is strong enough to hold the game down? For me, it's the, it's the girls' season. You, I, no, seriously, like, it, it's, the men are strong. When I first came to the house, I said mm -hmm. the men are mm -hmm. strong, mm -hmm. okay? But the, this is the girls' season, and I think um, the top five um, will be girls. Maybe you sneak one or two boys in there as wild cards, okay. but I think Cece has a great chance uh, of winning. Mercy's very, very strong. She's consistent. Mm. She's very consistent. She's a fantastic game player. Mm. Um, and Ilibaya has this new hype about her. Yeah. Um, and she has this story that Nigerians love to um, hang on to. Um, and it, that might work for her. But mm. I think it's a little bit too early yet to see who's going to win. I think okay. it needs to wait a couple more weeks. Um, but definitely Ilibaya, CC. Uh, Mercy are strong. Alex as well. Okay. You cannot cut her out, you know. So, okay. Okay. So, so, so what's in the works because of time? What's in the works for, for you now? More movies? Yeah. Films, so, other great stuff. obviously you guys know by now, I'm much my, 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 my business, KW and Co. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of things in the UK with brands and artists and we're trying to do the same thing here. Um, definitely want to get into more movies. Especially, actually Nigerian movies as well. So Nigerian producers, hit me up. Like, I'm, I, I'm interested. In getting involved, my pigeon is, is getting a lot better now, okay. and 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 I'm I'm I like what I'm seeing. So mm. yeah, I definitely want to get involved. And can in that. imagine kids why speaking pigeon English <laughs> in no, a but, Nigerian no, movie? <laughs> Let's not try out on. <laughs> no, but my in the house actually, mm. that was like my main language was pigeon okay. in the house. So I, I think I'm definitely improving. But yeah, movies, got my business coming out, uh, my charity foundation, Kidwire Foundation, okay. Space Water Foundation, mm. GI PLC, where we basically fund. Um, treatments for severely um, disabled kids and stuff. So there's actually a lot. But the most important thing for me is, 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 is to mentally be happy mm. um, and, and to be fit, you know, and, and, and find that inner peace, mm. you know, that inner shrine in me. So, okay. yeah, you guys will be excited in, in, in what you see. All right, this is yeah. the rebranded 3.0, 10.0, um, Kid Wire. Thank yeah. you so much, Kid Wire, for coming through on the show. You, thank you. And um, guys, Kid Wire said it all. His time in the house has been memorable, and it's love and light um, always for the next phase. Thank you but so it much. Still be war, it can still be war. <laughs> We're ready okay. for love and light. We'll bring the war and the light. If the war, love I has like, to go, like war will come. and light. All right, guys. So we'll take a break. When we come back, we still have more guests coming through on the show. Don't go anywhere.